You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. My name's Anders Schultz. My company is Complete. We're the first community based to do app. So I took a cursory look around at the active social networks. And it's amazing. There's a billion people connected. But a lot of the content that's promoted on there is about what I've done, what I've already done. And it's not so much about what I'm going to do. And when you switch the conversation of what I'm going to do, all of a sudden we can interact in much more uh, in-depth ways. So when you think about someone saying what they've done, you can kind of just give them that famous thumbs up, right? And when you're telling me, oh no, I'm going there, I can give you advice, I can give you motivation, I can connect you to people I know. Uh, and so that's the type of network that I felt like really utilized our collective intelligence, our collective experience, our collective goodwill that I felt like the current social networks had completely underutilized. Really simple, one of the things that was really important to us is to not make something so new people didn't know how to use it. And one of the most common habits out there is keeping a to-do list. And so when you go to our app, all you do is you create your to-do and it could be a goal, it could be an aspiration, it could be a bucket list, it could just be a daily task. You choose whether to make it private or public and if it's public, it goes to our feed. And our feed leverages multiple types of connections. You have your friendships, your following, you have your neighbors, people based on your geolocation and then also topic experts. And so you throw it out there to all those people and they can provide you with whatever you're looking for. So a lot of people put out, you know, just maybe exercise goals. And like, you know, I'm gonna run, you know, four miles this week. And people are, they're just looking for support or motivation. Other people put out, you know, I'm looking for a cute date spot, you know, this week, where we want sushi in the city. What do you guys think? What's out there? And they start crowdsourcing advice. And that's a big part of what we're doing that's very different than other productivity tools. And we're about pushing the information or the motivation or whatever that is you need to you. And so while it sits on your task list, you're getting all this good stuff pushed your way. So hopefully when it comes time to being proactive towards that task, you already have all the things you need. As of right now, it's functioning as a, a personal task level and also in a community way, we see people utilizing like hashtags already, like, you know, hashtag uh, point one challenge. People are increasing their running distance and you see other people joining in there, which is really cool. So it works in the small way and the big way right now. And I think as we mature, we'll definitely allow people to create smaller groups or more personalized groups uh, moving forward. I think forward. we have many values. You know, I think Core is a beautiful Q&A network, uh, but Core is the aggregation of knowledge. And I think there's a huge difference between the aggregation of knowledge and contextual knowledge. So for instance, I had a task not long ago about booking a hotel in LA, right? If I went to Quora or any Q&A or Yelp or one of these things, I'd get the advice on the best place to stay in LA. But contextually, because I was going that weekend and I have my set of friends, one of my friends, Tony, saw it on complete, said, hey man, my roommate's out of town, you can just come crash with me. And so that's booking a hotel for free, and that's nothing I'd ever find on a Quora or a Yelp or something like that. So that, that is one of the unique values that I think we provide. Yeah, we, we were funded in June. I started with my two co-founders, uh, Effie Fuchs uh, Liktag and Alado Sadden. Uh, both Israeli studs. You know, as a young entrepreneur, I thought it was really important. I flanked myself with the best talent I could. So we're and on the App Store right now uh, for iPhone. You can download it, Complete. Uh, and also, we'll have a web app open very soon. So if you go to completeapp.com, uh, you can sign up for the web app soon. Uh, you can join the waitlist for Android, or you can click through to download the iOS app.